beautiful fuzzy friend with a beautiful cup and a beautiful shirt. Oh, thank you. Here, here's the shirt. Here's the cup. I'm Where'd you get the cup? I'm, I feel put together. <laughs> you look good. You like. I, I was mentioning it earlier before we have time, but you look like really just healthy. You know, like happy, healthy. Sometimes I've hopped on with moms and they look like they've had a day. I mean, I've looked like I've had a day. Well, if you catch me any other random time of the day, like, don't stop by. I think <laughs> happens. I never look put together when people just drop by. It's, like, the worst. I don't know why I have this to also negative thing. Like, even with my mom, she'll just stop by and I'm like, <laughs> the baby's just about to go to sleep, so now this is going to extend it. Or, like, we were just about to eat, so now the food's going to have to, like, keep cold for a little. Like, it's just... Or I was, you know, I have like my day planned out. And so when these unexpected things happen, I need to have a better attitude about it, but I just don't. I'm, <laughs> I just want to put a sign like don't show up uninvited. But that's so rude, especially to like my parents, but. Ugh, ugh. Yeah, I need to work on that too, for sure. For sure. Me to be nicer. Well, let's get talking. I want to know anything and everything literally about homeschooling. I want to know how you got started into it and then. Unload all your info on me. I'm here to listen. I'm like legitimately so. I've started scratching the surface because um, it can look a little intimidating, but I'm finding more and more like cool things about it, more and more benefits. Um, I'm not a fan of putting my daughter into school. There's a whole bunch of different things and different reasons. We can go over those. Um, but yeah, I need to know the homeschooling stuff. And you've been doing it, so you're like the expert. You're the expert I turn to. You are. <laughs> okay. So before anybody wants to think that I'm an expert, I'm just here to say, and this might bring a lot of comfort to a lot of people, but I am learning as I go. And I think that most homeschool moms will tell you they're learning as they go. Even 12 years in, they're learning as they go. Um, and so... My biggest thing was, you know, jumping in, just getting started. I feel like yeah. a lot of people will think about it. A lot of people will be set on it even and have beat their mind up that that's what they're going to do. But it's the jumping in, that's the scariest part. Um, that's the intimidating part. Yeah, because I'm, I'm just nervous about it. I, I'm nervous about it. So it's really what I do have to say is, at least for me, um, my daughter never did public school. So okay. it was just something that I had already made up my mind by the time she was of school age. So we just have kind of been easing our way into it. Um, that to say, I've been doing it a couple years now. But honestly, until they're the age of eight years old in Washington State, um, you don't have to do anything. Um, and it's actually wow. encouraged that you don't. Um, children naturally will learn through play, and through exploration and just yeah. different things that you're doing in life, naturally. They're going to be learning as you go. So there's nothing, at least academically, that you have to be doing before that age. So okay. that changed a lot for me. Yeah. What yeah. is the normal age for kids to start school if they are going to public school? I don't know anything about schooling. I just remember, like, I don't know, when I went to high school or whatever. God knows when that was. Right. So um, for Washington State, um, compulsory education um, is ages 8 through 18. I believe they have to be enrolled in a school or homeschooling. Um, so, and that also includes public or private school, I mean, too. But um, I think it can vary. I mean, I know it does vary, but I think the age can vary state by state. So what I'm going to start with actually is um, anybody who's like thinking about it, um, exploring their options and stuff, there's a website, and it's called um, hslda.org, um, and this is like your legal resource. This is like your go-to for everything, like where do I begin? It's got documents for like um, pulling your child out, um, so withdrawal forms. Um, oh, if you wanted to go from public to then switch yeah, over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got um, like you know, the different state rules. All you, you can like type your name or type your state in, in the search bar and it will come up and all your state laws are right there. All your forms are right there. So Everything resourceful. Yeah. So it's a federal one. So anybody at any state can, can access it. Yes. Awesome. And okay. Got, like um, 
the thing is this this resource was created to be in favor of homeschoolers and to protect homeschools or awesome. homeschooling laws and stuff so um legally it helps to know what you're doing um there are some states that are a lot more lenient than other states um and surprisingly actually washington is one of the more lenient states which kind of shocked me <laughs> I am surprised hearing what's going on in Washington, but uh, leniency in what way in like uh, the testing portions of it or what they need to certify yeah. in or what's, I, I really just don't know. So some, um, some states, it's kind of hard to talk about on like a broad level. Um, well, let's but, talk for Washington, for example. Yeah. So um, I guess, okay. So I'll start with in order to be qualified to homeschool, you have to have like a certain level of um, schooling yourself, so like college degree to some sort, and then um, if not, you can also take this test, it's like a one-time test, and they have the link for it right on this website, um, and you take this test and it just goes through everything, um, all you need to know, basically. <laughs> awesome. Uh, that qualifies you forever, so it's one-time deal, you take that. Um, I encourage people to take it anyway even if you're not, because then it just covers, like, your basis of, like, what do I need to know to be in line with my state kind of thing. Yeah. Um, some states could not care less if you follow any of it or not. Like, they're not going to okay. work on you. And then some are, like, super on it about recording. Like, are you keeping track of attendance every day? Are you sending in, like, their work mm. and testing this and that? So, Sorry, how do they keep track of that? Is that something you would have, like, input into a system? Kind of like your own attendance, like, yeah, checking you, in? You okay. There's a lot of ways to do it. It's just, it's so Man. broad, it's so big. But, um, like, everywhere, every state has a different system. Um, and different curriculums have different systems that you can utilize, too. Um, oh, my gosh, that curriculum is such a big topic. Like, we're not ready to go there yet. <laughs> okay, because I have questions about it, like... How do you know what to teach at what time? Because I'm sure they go over what needs to, what your kid needs to know by a certain age. So how do you, because I, the one thing that really scares me is that like, well, I didn't go to school to be a teacher. So will I know what to teach? Will I remember any of that stuff? Yes, yes. So all of that too, you can find on this website. Um, it just, it will help you so much to like know, I don't, it's so hard because you don't want to like compare your homeschool kid to like a public school kid. Yeah. Um, just because of what you're learning kind of varies. It's not like they're incomparable. It's like apples to oranges. Okay. That's <laughs> good to know. At the same time, it does show like what is required of them to learn by this age, by this. Principle. Here's another question. Are, do they tell you which books they have to read or textbooks they have okay okay no, no. That's, okay, all that's all for you so um yeah i guess oh gosh i don't even know where to begin with like <laughs> again what i would have to say is uh if anyone's thinking or considering homeschooling that's never done it before and never looked into it honestly curriculum is one of the very very last things that you okay do. it's almost I would say the least important aspect. Least important. Okay. I'd say the most important aspect is knowing why you want to do it and how you're going to do it. Would you want to talk about that? Because I think I've turned to homeschooling because of, like, honestly, kind of political reasons of schooling and what's going on and what the teachers are being kind of forced to teach. And I don't necessarily agree with all this stuff. Um, so that's kind of my reasoning for wanting to homeschool my kids. But I would love to just talk about it for those who don't even know why would somebody choose one or the other and kind of maybe the benefits of it. Um, and then another later, I do want to talk about something that is a concern a little bit in my mind is I don't want her to feel like I'm not letting her be up. You know, like right now she really likes the school bus song. And so when she sees the school bus outside her window, she's so stoked. And I don't want it to be like, well, mommy, why can't I go and join with the other kids? <laughs> I, I don't know how to handle that conversation even. And I want to just be honest with her and I'm going to tell her everything. But uh, I want to be prepared. I want to know my stuff. And then for others who are listening who, you know, who don't know how to face that situation. How did you go about it? Well, let's start with, 
man, there, it's such a big topic and I want to talk about all of it. But let's talk, um, I guess, let's start with the reasons because you said that's the most important is knowing what are your reasons for doing it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And yes, you're gonna want <laughs> you're gonna want to know why because you're gonna question sometimes every single day. Why are we doing this? It's hard. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I guess for me, actually, it surprised me a lot. I swore up and down I would never homeschool before I became a mom. <laughs> and then, Interesting. I don't know. <laughs> I still don't know what was bestowed upon me to even go there, even explore the idea, but. Um, what I have found, honestly, is that, gosh, I just feel like I couldn't go back at this point. Um, it is a whole world. It is amazing. I feel away um, from the mom, the teaching side of it. You get to learn all over again, right mm. alongside your child. Um, and it is so amazing and so rewarding to be able to, like, foster that relationship with them and that love of learning yeah um, and rediscover everything um sometimes you're relearning things that you forgot about sometimes it's really exciting to teach them things that you know about and then sometimes it's amazing just what you both learn together that like that was never taught to you in school kind of thing so yeah that for me has like solidified my why at first i'll be honest at first i jumped in thinking Oh, we'll give it a try. We'll play around in preschool and we'll just see how it goes, you know? And if I'm still feeling kind of panicky about it, then she can always go off to school later. Um, sure. By the time we got to kindergarten, there's 